From the forest to France, 2025 portable barracks built to house troops, our boys in France. The buildings, if placed end to end, would be 240 times higher than the Woolworth building. Total time for manufacturing was 60 days, and the cost was $2,600,500. The lumber was obtained from the yellow pine forests of the states of Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas. The ax cuts a notch on the falling side, the depth of which is one quarter to one fifth of the diameter of the tree. Logging. The leading principle is that one gang must push the other. The cutting or felling crews usually consist of two hands, sometimes a third man to drive wedges and to make the ax cut. The saw is withdrawn when the tree begins to shake heavily. The bucking crew, marking off into lengths and cutting the tree into logs. When the saw begins to pinch, a wedge is driven behind the back of the saw. Ox teams are used to draw the log wagons from the interior of the forest to the railroads, unloading within reach of the skidder. A modern combined steam skidder and loader operated by two engineers one fireman, two signalmen, four hook tenders, and four whip tenders, skidding from two sides simultaneously. The ground covered at one setting is square, having sides 900 feet long at each side of the railroad. Wood burning engines are used to haul the loaded flat cars through the forest. The mill pond. Logs are rolled from the cars into the water. Another method of unloading. Note how the men dodge as the logs roll over their heads. The dead log raft is used to raise water-soaked logs which sink below the surface of the pond. A picker guides the logs from the mill pond to a log chain conveyor, which carries the logs into the mill. Cutting the logs. The bandsaw cuts the logs into rough lumber. The gangsaw or pneumatic trimmer 
which is operated like a player piano, cuts the lumber into proper lengths. The sorting chains. On the way to the dry kiln. 